how to create ads account on Facebook Business Manager 2023. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and absolutely incredible day. In this video, we are going to be talking about, you know, Facebook Ads Manager and how you can, you know, create a different ads account on your business manager on Facebook in the easiest, most simplest way possible. It's going to be really fun and it's just going to be a really good journey to work on. So please do make sure to fully watch this video till the end to get the full insight and gain the full confidence on how you're going to do with this. So to start things off, what you're going to do is you're going to go on to facebook.com. Okay. This is not going to work from here. You're going to need to go to your Facebook. And once you go to your Facebook over there, you're going to need to create a page or at least go into managing your page. So once you're over here, you're going to go into your marketplace or paid setting. And over here, you know, this is your basic Facebook marketplace where you can find different marketplaces on Facebook. But obviously to go into the pages that you've created, you're going to go on the home page and go into pages. And once you go into pages, obviously here, as you can see, I've created these different pages for myself. And, uh, you know, these are the different pages that I have associated with the Meta Business Suite. And I can work with these, but to obviously go to the Meta Business Suite, you have to come to this link over here, and this is going to take you to Meta Business Suite. And over here, what you're going to want to do is you're going to go ahead up here, and you're going to go into settings. So we're going to write settings. Wait, come back here. Yeah. So you're going to write settings up here. There we go. You're just going to enter it. And once you enter it, basically it brings you to this over here where it asks you for the business, which setting you want to go in. I want to go in this setting over here. So once you do that, it brings you into the settings section. Okay. Now, once it brings you into the settings section over here, you're obviously going to work with the different things that you have. So obviously you can get admin access through the people and you can get assigned assets. So obviously this person right here, which is me, I can add different assets. So in this case, I'm going to add asset. And we're going to go with some, you know, set or specific account. So we can go with an Instagram account or any other account that we can please. I'm also going to switch up this. I'm going to go over here. And once we come here, I'm going to choose the assets. And here you can see I can add different assets like different pages over here. Now, to create an ads account, what you're going to do is you're going to go over here to ads account down in the bottom. And once you come to ad account, you're going to click on add and you're going to click on create a new ad account for your business. That is exactly what we're going to do. So I'm just going to go ahead and close this Add, create a new ad account. So here you can see payment information has moved. You'll be able to add payment information after you've created an account. So you're going to add an account name. I'm just going to call it John Leahy. Once you do that, you're going to choose your time zone, choose your currency. Who will this account be used for? This ad account will be used for, you know, it can be used for uh, your business, any other business. I'm going to go with my business and I'm going to click on create. Now, once you do that, it's going to create things and go over here. So add people and set permissions. So, so there's different ad accounts that you can get partial access to. So manage campaigns where you can create and edit ads, access reports and view ads. View performance, access reports, and view ads, manage creative hub mockups and review ads. Then there's different manage ads accounts and all. Obviously, you're going to choose the person. So you're going to do this for assign, you know, managing campaigns, viewing performance and all. You can also manage the ad accounts and you can assign it to this person. Then obviously give your payment info because giving payment info is, you know, more compulsory. So uh, you're going to add in your payment information, you know, whatever provider you're using to do the payments. Uh, add in your card details and once you do that you're going to come here so you've added a account which is basically an ad account so here you can see the ad account is added now in this ad account you can add assets as well now what assigning asset does is obviously it gives you more things to work with or more ads to work with and uh, you could say a much more easier environment to be in when it comes to creating different ad accounts on your facebook business manager now, moving on, what uh, more you can do is you can use this ad account or, you know, your business account that you've created, and you can work with this in more detailed and depth analysis by creating new campaigns for yourself as well. So to create new campaigns, once you've added your assets, we're going to back out of this. And once you're over here, uh, you can obviously, as I said, uh, edit business account permissions and, you know, all the data sources that you have over here. 
Uh, you can also create pixels for this. And once you create pixels, what you can do is you can add it on your stores as well. And by stores, I mean, obviously, your um, Shopify stores and a whole lot more. And then over here, you can go with campaigns as well to obviously start a campaign for yourself. So Advantage Plus apps could be added. Uh, you could add different uh, commerce settings with different integrations. You have different registrations to work with, different requests, and a whole lot more. So these things are really easy to get by and uh, get your head around. So yeah, basically that's the whole uh, design output of it. Now moving on, once you've created an ad account and once you've created it for you know your campaigning, from there on out, you can go into the business tools and move on to your ads manager to work with it in more detail. So come to ads manager and in the ads manager, it's going to give you the whole you know analysis of campaigns and here you can add new traffic campaigns uh you can review and publish these campaigns add and create more campaigns so let's say i'm going to click on create and it takes me to the creation of a whole damn ad campaign to work with which is pretty uh useful and uh, pretty helpful to work with and obviously as you create campaigns the more campaigns you create the more the you could say um helpful and better your ad business gets so you can you know choose what kind of campaign you want to create it could be awareness traffic engagement leads app promotion sales you know whatever kind you want to go with you can go with that and it's going to be absolutely out of this world and amazing so let's say i'm going to go with awareness i want awareness on my product so i'm going to go with that once you do that you're going to give it some new name you're going to give it some uh, set category so let's say i'm going to go with credit and employment once you do that uh go ahead with the uh, you know housing uh different uh, social issues for example it's really easy things to get your head around and then once you do that click on next once you do this uh just finalize the campaign with all the budget and schedule and timing and once you've done all that it's going to show you how it looks on your feed uh you can choose the different types of feeds you want to put it on and then finally click on publish and this is how your ad is going to appear to the other audiences on Facebook. So yeah, that's basically about it. That is how you can basically create a new ad account on Facebook Business Manager. So, I hope this tutorial was extremely helpful to you and uh, if you need any more videos like this, please do tell me. I am always available and I will give you the easiest step-to-step -step guides for any type of videos that you demand and uh, if you have any queries regarding this video you can let me know down in the comments and uh, yeah I guess I'll see you next time before signing off please like and subscribe to the channel and uh, leave down a nice comment if you watch the video and please don't forget to share this video with uh, any of your friends in need or your family and uh, I hope you all have a great day so until next time, I'll see you later and goodbye.